There's a documentary called Citizen Harvey, which is going to deb debut in Cannes uh, in the market. Are they stealing year. my title? Yes. Citizen Harvey? Yeah, it's with the BBC. Yeah, so tell me your reaction to that besides that. I think that speaks for itself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then Ben, tell me. That's weird. That's, that really makes me, um, that, that title makes me really uncomfortable that Citizen Rose was first and that it is about, uh, that's really weird. That, that makes me, I've not heard about that, that, that I'm hearing about it in real time. And that's what's so interesting about all of this is all unfolding in real time. And so when people ask what's next, I'm like, I don't know, we've never been here as a society. Women have never been believed ever. Women have not been listened to. When I shaved my head, the side effect was that people could hear me for the first time. And so I wanted to see if women could be heard without having to shave their heads. There's just a lot of wrong in the world, but there's so much right, and I think we all know that when you can get rid of the cancer, things will be better for us societally. And I, you know, I started all this because I wanted to see if I could make time go faster. I knew eventually we'd get here, but I got bored, and I was like, okay, let's get smarter. Chop, chop. I'm really grateful to Tarana Burke for writing that hashtag, you know, 10 years ago, hashtag me too. It gave us a, a, a common language, you know, men and women and everybody under that spectrum. You know, we had our lives stolen in many ways, and also the public, as a member of the public, as an audience member, we missed an awful lot from an awful lot of people who could have given a lot. And the fact that I had any kind of career despite being heavily blacklisted, which still continues to this day, is kind of a testament that there are ways to get around the system. Four years ago, I started really pushing at Hollywood, kind of pushing at the power structure, waking it up, waking it up, wake it up, see different. And as people that put thought and, and image and sound out to the world, we have a responsibility, we really, really do. I think what's cool about Citizen Rose is that I'm not afraid at all of calling it reality because it really is my reality. They gave the okay at Bun and Murray, the production company, they gave the green light to it or got it before the stories came out and I just said something really big is going to happen, you have to trust me. There's so much I wanted to say and I knew I was saying a lot in the book and with the articles, but I knew Citizen Rose, I wanted to show people what trauma is like and what it's like to live in this. It's just a it's a weird life. <laughs>